Peter Pan and Wendy is the latest retelling of this classic story, mainly known for its Disney adaptation, but it's had, it has been adapted into different forms. The one I remember the most, or the most recent, was that Pan movie that came out back in 2015, which was just pretty awful. Um, so, with this going to Disney+, Plus, I didn't have much hope in it, but I was excited for it, seeing how it was a retelling of one of my favorite films from whenever I was a kid. You know, the Disney remake trend has been something that's been going on for a while now. And I'm not, of course, like everyone, haven't been the biggest fan of it. You know, they take some of your favorite films and they make them lifeless and just, well, boring. So, you always got the older animated ones to go back to, but it is kind of annoying that these movies do exist. And to a lot of people, these are, their, to a lot of kids, this is their introduction to these stories, which is weird. Like, for instance, The Lion King or Mulan or Lady and the Tramp. Some great films that just got really, this is anywhere very good. Um, so, with Peter Pan and Wendy, I was looking forward to it because it did look like it was being a little bit more different than the other films. It did look like it was trying a bit more, even though it was going straight to Disney Plus. It wasn't like that Pinocchio movie that came out back like in September, so that did make it better. And it did bring up my excitement for it. And how did I feel about the movie? Well, here's the deal. This is pretty bland and unimaginative and boring just like the other films, which is really disappointing for me because I wanted to really like this one. I wanted to enjoy it. Now, there are some things in this movie to enjoy. There is some good parts in it, but there is so much in this movie that's just very uninteresting and, again, bland. There's a lot of blandness here, and you don't want that in a Peter Pan film. My biggest problem with this movie is the color grading, is the environment. It does look... It looks like it was shot in a real like location, which is good, but also it is so just in your face with it being gray and just lifeless. It's very lifeless, which made it really hard for me to watch because the original Peter Pan is all but lifeless. It is very, you know, full of just crazy imaginative stuff, and here it's just not. You know, it's really disappointing. Um, the characters here, Peter Pan himself is just not very good in my opinion. The actor is really trying. He is a child actor, so you gotta give him some kind of leeway there. I don't think I've seen him in anything else. He's okay in this movie, I'll give him that. He's fine. He's just, uh, he's not really Peter Pan to me. He doesn't get off that boyish charm that Peter Pan did back in the original film. Or even some of the later films like Hook, for example, with Robert Williams. He was a grown man playing Peter Pan, but he still gave off that charm that you need for that character. And here, he is just, he kinda does in some scenes, you can feel it at points, like his introduction, I think is very good well, where they recreate that scene of them flying through the city of London, and then they go through Big Ben, and then they go to Neverland, and that was actually really well done. That was really, really good. But the rest of it, he's just not very good. Um, there's this weird, point with him and Captain Hook, which I don't think is, I don't remember being part of the original story now for, like, I haven't read it in a while, of course, but yeah, it was weird because they have this history where Hook was like a kid who was one of the Lost Boys at one point, and he wanted to be a part of that, but he left because of reasons, him and Peter Pan have this resentment for it. And it was just strange. Um, I did really, really like Captain Hook in this movie. He was actually one of the better parts. He was hamming it up the whole time, but he was doing it with such, I don't know, he just, he was having fun as a character. He really was. And it made for a much more enjoyable time when he was on screen. Like I was looking forward to seeing Jude Law as this character, which originally I wasn't because the trailers didn't really show off his craziness. Um, here. He definitely is much more crazy, as I would say, um, and he's much more enjoyable to watch than he was in the trailers. Wendy in this movie is one of my favorite characters here, because she actually gets some character development, you know? She's getting sent off to this boarding school that her parents want her to go to, and she wants her, and she just wants her own life. She wants to be who she wants to be, and it was actually kind of, it's the most like basic character point you can have but it was so something it wasn't like nothing like most of this movie was for me um tiger lily this was very disappointing she was stoic and just not no i did not like her in this at all again child actress so i can't really go too hard which i am having trouble with with this movie because 
the lost boys or the lost people in this movie. Um, that's also, they're not very good here. And again, child actors, you can't go too hard on them, which is what I'm having, which what I'm struggling with with this movie because the acting here just isn't great. Besides, of course, Jude Law's Captain Hook and some of the pirates, which are just corny and fun. There is nothing else in this movie that I really liked. Um, I thought it was okay. I thought it was fine. It's one of the better Disney remakes, but it's just fine. It's okay. I mean, you can put this on for your kids and just be like, it's Peter Pan, whatever. But for me, I think I kind of want more from this franchise and, oh, it's Peter Pan, whatever. So I'll probably gonna give Peter Pan and Wendy, I'm going to give this film a B minus. So yeah, tell me in the comments below what you guys thought of Peter Pan and Wendy. Tell me your thought about this review. I will see you guys next time and take care.